Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to use the procedural brick shader to create more of a photorealistic look. Okay, so the procedural brick shader has been used to do the back wall here, um, these this tiled wall, uh, this tiled wall, um, also this tiled wall. I've also used it for the uh, the floor here and the ceiling tiles as well. So we'll start we'll start with the, the wall first. Right. So if I just reset this shader back to default, there you go. Um, let's make a start. So let's get the brick size to start with. So uh, the UV tiling. So let's go. Oh, that's the offset. Don't want to be doing that. Uh, the tiling. So let's go across. Okay. So I think that was. 29.8 so I did that way and then the Y the, the V was uh, about 57 ish around there something like that okay so that'd be do that would be do for start with um, and let's increase the mortar gap okay now the mortar tint I used just to like a an off white there and I created these they're just white so let's just get rid of those back to white because I what I used I used a texture for those okay so let's uh, get the elevation right up um, specular let's um, take that specular strength down a little bit Same with the mortar, drop that down a bit. Okay, so let's add a brick texture. Um, the brick texture I used was this one here. Um, so let's see if I can have a look at that on the, it's this one here. So as you can see, it's, I've basically taken a photograph of a load of bricks and I've just cut them out and I've split it into the on this texture and there's a two by eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's what I've done. So let's go back to the shader uh, here. Okay, so we're using an atlas and it's two across by eight down. Okay, so in the game view so that's what it's using and what I've done, also done if you click this it randomly takes each one of those bricks and it just randomly places them and it will flip them and, ro and uh, rotate them so you're going to get quite a few different variants there okay so let's add a normal map because there was also a normal map for it and we'll wrap that the, uh, the value of that ramp right up to one I also had a mortar texture, so I've just got this brick noise that I use. Okay, um, and I I tiled that. I think it's about about twenty by twenty. And again, I used a normal map for it. And let's wrap that up a little bit. Okay, so we're starting to get the look we need. Um, now the specular. Um, I, I'm not using. I'm not. You can use a cube map or a probe in there. I, I do have a probe in the scene, but this particular one wasn't using it. So there's your brick texture. 
So let's move on to the tile texture on this wall here. Okay, so let's just move that camera around a little bit so we can see it. Okay, now for this one, let's uh, reset it. Okay, so yeah, on this one, let's bring the colors down back to white. Uh, and I used a texture. And again, it was, it was this one, it's a tile repeat one. Okay. And the tile is an eight by eight. Uh, let me show you the image. It's this one here. So uh, basically, I've, I've divided it up into eight. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and the same this way. Okay, so we're getting sort of like a repeat on it. Um, and across. Okay, now we want it to be tiling, so we don't want any uh, indent access, so we can turn that off. And at the moment, obviously, it's, it's, it's randomly creating them in the Atlas, but what we want to do is we want to turn it to Atlas Repeat. Yeah, and let's change the watercolor to white. And then what we can do, we can, we can offset elevation down let's get this the uh, the mortar gap a little bit smaller as well and let's get these thicknesses down so ramp up the elevation let's get these thicknesses down yeah it's about uh, let's go to 0.15 something like that um, and with our specular we'll turn that on to probe and we will ramp up the strength and the power so we can get our reflection probe working Okay, so for the floor, let's have a look at the look of the floor. The floor is basically the same sort of setup, really. Um, where are we? Bathroom floor. Here we go. Uh, this time, all I'm using, uh, instead of having an, the Atlas texture, I've created a, I've put a texture map in there, but I'm using a mega texture. So what what that does is it takes a a normal texture. So if I go uh, where is it? It's here. Basically, it's just just it's just a a picture of of some wood. Okay, so what it does what it does is it samples a part of that wood. So as you can see, and you can adjust you can adjust the samples, and it will just randomly um sample that piece of wood onto each tile and to get the gaps more I've just basically reduced the um remove remove the mortar gap completely as well as best you can and then darken the mortar tint 
and it's using a reflection probe uh, and you just just adjust it on the specular okay uh, ceiling tile so if we have a look at the ceiling tile again that is using an atlas but it's using a one by one uh, so it's just a single image of a, of a tile and if you and I've, and I've clicked a randomly flip because it will it will flip and rotate it randomly so you can so they don't all look the same uh, again reduce the elevation and in, and the thickness set the thickness up correctly you know to uh, on each one to get the corners you want Uh, again, it's using a light probe and using just all the all the colours from the uh, from the texture. And again, just setting up the tiles, tiling how many you're going from left to right. And I, I've set it roughly to to fit uh, to fit the edges as best I can. If that's it's that simple, really. Um, back wall I think that's using that's using a mega texture as well it's basically I've got a an image of just that rust piece of rust and I'm just using that and it's randomly it's randomly picking a part of the texture and placing it on the tile As you can see, and uh, again, you can just you, it, it samples depending on the size that you want. Just samples it, and then the the back one here. I am. Uh, so look, where is that? It's the door wall. Uh, I'm not using a, a texture at all, so I'm just using colors. So I've tinted the colors to the, for these two colors. And it's randomly picking colors between those high and low tints but all I have done is I've added a a normal map to it which is that one there to give the pattern okay so the, the last thing to mention is the uh, LOD controls uh, now bear in mind that, that the way this is it's procedural so there's no mip mapping so as you zoom out you can see it sort of it all goes to white that might not be what you want to do so you have this LED control here and you have you can see your distance slider okay and what it's what, what, what it's basically doing is it's fading from the color of the brick to the mortar if that's what you want to do if you want to go sort of like 50-50 mix you can see it's got a suggested color based on the the colors between all the seconds you have and the mortar so if you click suggested color and when you zoom out get further away you can adjust that that distance where it where it, where it blends in so you're not getting so much noise if you found this useful, please hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in the next video.